This is a brief demonstration on how to create tables with HTML5. In front of me, I have VS Code, and I have a starter HTML5 page all set up to create my HTML5 tables demonstration. I'm going to create my table inside of a div container, and we're going to start out by creating the table with the table tag. I will leave some space between the opening and closing tag. We're going to use the caption tag to give our table a title to start out with, and a caption needs to be before any rows inside of your table. So I'm going to call this my monthly bill tracker data table. The next thing I'm going to have in my table is I'm going to have a table row, which is accomplished by using a TR tag. So TR is short for table row. And inside of that table row, I'm going to use it to set up my headers for my data table. My headers are going to contain headers using the TH tag for bill name. due date, and amount due. So it's a three column table in this case. TH was used to indicate each header. Now I'm going to do another table row and this is where my data is going to start. So for each row of data we're going to end up having table col columns with the TD tag and TD stands for table data and also it creates your columns for you. So another little note to understand what the tag stands for. My first column of data is going to be for my Chase credit card bill and it's going to have a due date of 7-30-2022. and it's going to have an amount of $300.50. That's my first table row. My next table row is going to be for my electric bill. And that's going to have a due date of 7-15-2022. And the amount for my electric bill will be $100 fifty dollars and seventy five cents. Okay. So right now I have a table created with three rows. The first row being the header, which is right here. That's our header row, and you see the TH tag for the headers. And then I have three two data rows. One here for my Chase credit card and one here for my electric bill. Now this table doesn't have any formatting, any styling um, at this time. That is something that we will actually do um, when I actually go over adding uh, styles to the table using some CSS in the future. So for now when we display this it's not going to very look much like a table. Uh, it'll give you a general idea uh, of what a table looks like but it's not going to be clear because you won't have the borders and such around things. Uh, that's something we'll do as we add styles to the table. Another thing I want to note about tables, um, as you might come across some older coding in HTML uh, where developers have used tables for layouts, tables are never intended for doing multi-column layouts for a web page. That's what CSS is intended for. Uh, use your tables every time you have data to display in a web page. Don't display data in a web in a web page without using a table and do not use tables for displaying anything in a web page that you wouldn't consider data. Uh, so to take a quick little look at this we can just go ahead and um, first save our page just out of habit. Uh, another thing I recommend all the time is to code a few lines at a time so this is good I have a small little table here and then test and we'll run the debugger here um, and view this in my web browser. And you can see here my, my heading for my H1 that says it's my HTML tables demo. And you can get an idea of where the table is set up 
um, you see your table headers, they're going to be bold. That's what the th tag does for us. Uh, in HTML5, it's going to make it stand out uh, with bold. And then your additional rows here of your table data of those two items. That gives us a basic um, set up for our table. Uh, there are a couple other things that you can do with tables that are good to know. Uh, doing things like uh, merging columns and um, merging rows are always good to know about. Uh, just to give you an idea real quick, we'll add in one more row of data. And what we'll do is uh, we'll call this our total row. Um, so what we'll do is our TD, and we're going to merge that across two columns. Called, there's this call span attribute and you put a number in it and this is how many columns you want this column to span across. This would be the same as like merging a cell um, inside of using um, Microsoft Excel. Um, so if I do total, that assumes two cells and then this table row would only need one more TD tag. Okay, and this would be the total amount. So if we look at this uh, total, uh, we would calculate this out to be uh, four hundred and fifty one dollars and twenty five cents I believe just doing some quick math um, off the top of my head uh, and if we were to save it here you could see um, again without any borders on it's hard to tell but that total column is actually spanning across the two and you see everything still lines up okay all right so that's another another thing with your tables you know make sure your number of columns in each one of your rows uh, match up um, accordingly so we have three headers we have three columns and then the exception being our total row but it still totals out to three because we're spanning across two uh, you can do a row span as well on a TR tag if you wanted a row to span um, across multiple uh, rows for some reason. That's also a possibility. Uh, so just be aware that there's a there's a row span um, in addition to the call span. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, leave your comments if you have any in the comments section or reach out to me individually. Uh, thank you uh, for watching the tutorial.